The end of the Gene Smith era for Ohio State athletics comes amid the greatest era of change college football has ever known. Liberties for players in both mobility and the ability to earn an income for themselves and their families have grown at a breakneck pace over the past five years and change. The transfer portal combined with the recent addition of unlimited transfers has created de facto free agency in the sport. NIL has opened the door for players to be paid and earn profit from their names, images and likenesses. Those topics led to a conversation about the future structure of college football during Gene Smith's appearance at the Fawcett Center on Thursday. Smith oversaw changes to that structure in terms of conference realignment during his tenure. First came Nebraska to the Big Ten in 2011, then Maryland and Rutgers in 2014. The biggest additions will soon follow with Washington, Oregon, USC and UCLA all joining the conference as Smith concludes his final year before retirement. The SEC will be adding Oklahoma and Texas this season as well. With the ever-growing clamor for television money, what Smith described as a former leadership void in the NCAA and the continued separation of the halves of the sport from the have-nots, a broader vision for the future structure of college football has emerged, a super league of the top teams. Smith believes it's a concept worth considering. I don't know if we'll get there or not. I think we've got to be open to that conversation and what the private equity people are talking about, Smith said. Conversations have ramped up nationally in the last few weeks about the potential for a Super League. Sportico recently obtained a pitch deck circulated among college sports stakeholders in mid-February detailing a specific 80-team plan for how a new league could look. The model features 70 teams split across seven 10-team regional divisions, featuring each of college football's power conference teams. Ohio State is in the Midwest Division under the plan, joining Cincinnati, Illinois, Indiana, Louisville, Michigan, Michigan State, Missouri, Northwestern, and Purdue. An 8-10 team division of smaller schools, determined by a system of relegation slash promotion similar to how European soccer leagues function, rounds out the 80 school model. Smith's biggest concern with the concept is how money from TV contracts and the like will be split among such a large field of teams. While he doesn't mind the fact that massive brands like Ohio State Michigan, Penn State, USC and others will share those revenues equally among 18 teams, some of which clearly don't hold the same stature as those brands, in the Big Ten, the numbers for a Super League worry him. I would be more concerned about the revenue share, Smith said. 70 teams, is what, I think I've read about and heard about, but the Ohio states of the world aren't gonna feed everybody. Dot.